couples because these were... We were just getting all worked up before the show started. Yeah, so much that Woody just had to get it going. <laughs> I interrupted yeah. what you guys were talking about, so you can just jump right back into it. Um, uh, well, apparently a black man moved into Taylor's building and he <laughs> is livid. <laughs> oh, man, not that. That was just for the show, pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Filipino. Doesn't make any better, though. But no, whatever. no. He Well, he'll still understand the burning cross like we talked about. Hey, he'll Taylor, I think your math is off, though. Like, if he ruins the property value, wouldn't he just lower your rent? Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, because I don't own. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. There are more Filipinos in here. I'm going to get Jorge and the rest of the gang. All of them. Paid by way the ball by Bush method of payback, right? Just like take it to their shores. Find some they brown people. It doesn't even do have to be who, Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. <laughs> who, who's to say where that even is? Just buy a rock again or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, America. There could be dozens, hell, hundreds more of these Uzbekis out there somewhere. Oh. <laughs> I, I literally went to take a sip of my Red Bull, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, I'd say give that another five five yeah. minutes. So. Yeah, yeah. It, it's and wearing thin. Can... Therapeutic fiber. But they will at some point. Cut. Great. All right, and now we're demonetized. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, so Painkiller Nearly 167. Uh, we do this sort of secret podcast once a week, and it's an hour long. But because it was Halloween, we had this idea that we'd all get in costumes and do it live. And look at these two high-effort costumes here. Look at that. Two high-effort costumes in Gumby. Like I... <laughs> <laughs> two high-effort costumes in... Shirt. <laughs> no, it's a whole suit. To oh, show them the back. This is a whole suit, too. Uh, State penitentiary or something is what it says. So there you go. Happy Halloween, everyone. Woody, you honestly impressed me a lot because I don't recall what you were last year, which is how I know I wasn't as impressed as this year because next year I'll remember this one. <laughs> last year I was the brawny man. I had like yeah. a flannel shirt and paper towels, and uh, I actually thought it was pretty good, but I seem to be alone in that opinion. You, you were just a lumberjack who didn't have a toy axe available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what oh, dude, a friend of mine, I went out, obviously, this past weekend for Halloween celebrations both nights, and one of my buddies showed up as a lumberjack because that's a very lazy thing to do, but oh, he, he showed up with a real axe. He brought a real axe, and we're like, dude, we're going, we're like gonna be going out to bars at some point. You can't bring an axe with you. And so he got into the Uber with an axe, and it's not until after we left that the Uber driver clearly became aware, <laughs> aware that someone had a real axe in the back of her car. And uh, and I don't think she was enthused one bit. She didn't say anything. Did he get uh, into the but, bar? Uh, no, no, he didn't because we were like, buddy, you can't bring a fucking axe with you. Head to Broadway. Taylor, you've got a marketing background. Like, how would you have spun it if you? Let's just say you, you know, you're a, you're a kitty toucher, and and now you've got to get yourself out of this trouble. I mean, do they teach you this in school? Surely that's what you trained in. <laughs> that might be more of a PR thing than a marketing thing. Ah, you're not, yeah, you say tomato, I say tomato. And marketing would be like, hey, pedophiles, uh, not too bad, am I right? Like, let's, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want that. Clear. <laughs> I sent you guys that picture the other day, and it's like an Indian man giving you like the sexy eye, and it says "freaking the sheets, shit in your streets." <laughs> yes, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, an Indian uh, man. <laughs> well, they're in New Ireland. Like, like I'm off. The, I like Conor McGregor too much to keep hating uh, on the Irish. Like, but, um, but, but definitely the the Indians right now. Dots, not feathers. I, but I, 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 I really dislike the ones with feathers too. But, but we'll get to them another time. Hmm. That's that's coming up next in our, you know, bigotry bit. The whole project will collapse. But what is this? Is this Kyle as a lady? Oh, my. Oh, yeah, you're... I wish I could have gotten my, my upper lip completely clean for this. I'd still fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd definitely fuck female Kyle. Oh, female Kyle's pretty hot. Yeah, I'm liking yeah. it. Female Taylor would be a, an ugly bitch. <laughs> just, a, just a hairy, broad-shouldered, big-headed. Oh, it's a, I'm glad you mentioned that because, like, I had a dream the other night where I was. Um, it was you and I, and we were we were like secret agents, 
and uh, and we were doing our Russian accents, and I was like, "I'm Dmitri, and this is Sergey, the head Gumanov." Like the head was your gangster name. You were, you were Sergey, the head Gumanov, and, and and you were like over there in a leather jacket, like 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 slicked back hair and everything, like like like, and just just like just mean mugging him. You were like, "Yes." yes. I am the head. <laughs> the head. Do you know why they call me this? Well, aside from all the obvious, you know? <laughs> I head but Putin in amateur hockey league. No one fuck with the head. That's yeah. hilarious. I, I that is a up, weird ass dream. Yeah, I woke up and I was laughing about the dream. And then I was like driving to the store later in the day to get kitty so that I was like, <laughs> the head. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Sarah- <laughs> Sergey the head Gumanov. So yeah, yeah. If we ever if we ever do a two man like Russian thing together, like like I'm Dmitry Potapov and you're Sergey the head Gumanov. <laughs> I like how your your brain had the time to give me a UFC fighter name in the middle, but you didn't get one. Ah, well they knew me. You know, I, I was introdu- I was bringing you in. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is the head, my associate, yeah. <laughs> my cousin. We were cousins. That was the deal. That or that was the uh, that was the that was the story. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> well, I hope we did a good job on our mission. I think they got you. Oh, I was it. okay. The head. Well, well I mean, you're easy target. Easy <laughs> yeah. target. They, they just popped you right away. <laughs> if I were one of those like uh, targets, like they used the silhouette of me at the gun range. You know how it's usually like. You know, a certain score for the head, like they'd have to have it. <laughs> yeah. you know, they, they have to be like, no, 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 no. I think I remember this from this that horrible cotillion class my mom made me take. You oh, took a God. cotillion God. class? Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. So I learned how to swing dance and learned all uh uh you fucking fox trot? uh of course, you know, I, I oh. do more than the box trap. What do you think, and, he's uh, an animal? Yeah, but, uh, and what else did they do? They taught us all the, the manners and, and everything you're supposed to do at dinner, and they said that there are two acceptable ways to eat with your knife and fork, like, in proper settings, you know, as this, like, fucking 52-year-old used-to-be hot lady running the show is like, yeah, we get it, you're loving this. Like, <laughs> you probably wish you had kids, right? Like, this is filling a hole somewhere. Oh, and, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's just, that was mean. She was actually not that bad. Um, but they're like, all right, you can hold it. Uh, fork, left hand, knife, right hand, and then cut, like, European style. And mm-hmm. then with, like, the fork going downward, you put it in the meat, and then you eat with your left hand. Or the American way, which is you cut... And then you put the knife down and switch hands to your right hand with your fork and then eat that way. I never did the hand switching thing because it seemed like too much effort to yeah. eat steak. And I mean, so it. fast that, that, you know, we're. So, yeah. The instructor was German. And uh, his yeah. father was like. It's like he, I felt like he was trying to fucking alpha me all the time, right? And. Uh, like the first time we went out, he corrected how I ate because I ate the American one. Now I have good table manners, I promise you. If you guys are listening, like you, you would be happy with my table manners. Well, you handle your knife and fork right, but let's not go as far as to say you oh, have good t- table manners. Go. You do some shit at the table. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes they get horny. So <laughs> the uh, they were like, you know, they were telling me to eat it the European way. A fork goes in this hand, knife goes in this hand. You eat it with the fork inverted, and it was just like, what the fuck? I mean, the, the next time we went out, I was doing daily vlogs at the time, and uh, they're like, hey, you know, can you put that camera down? And uh, you know, like, you know, we're gonna eat here, and I was like, no, this is my living, and I don't tell you how to make yours. And uh, I don't know, it's time to fucking put my foot down, assholes. But what kind of person tells a forty-three-year-old man how, how did, to eat? How did that come up? So you were sitting there eating, and then he goes, I, I can't help but notice that you're not eating correctly. No? <laughs> and like, <laughs> after this, we are going to fly about, yeah? <laughs> no, it, it wasn't far of from that. He was just like, it was more along the lines of like, in Germany, we're really strict on how table manners are done. You know, if, if my kid were eating like that, I would, I would fix it and let him know that this is the right way to eat your food. Man, if you're that passionate about it, you probably should have taken those past couple wars a little more seriously <laughs> because we could all be eating your way. We were just yes. talking about UFC 217. Oh, it was amazing. It Ch- was amazing. Chiz kind of paid his debt in that I guess he paid me for no reason uh, three months ago. Well, he paid you because you were going on and on about me not having paid you yet. So he paid me on your behalf, and yeah. now he's saying that's his payment to me. Well, God, you guys I- are... Terrible well, we about both. paying. <laughs> well, it's it's more that you were just you know you were. 
I wanted to be paid for my winnings. Yeah, I was making a big deal. No, this is it. See, the thing is, I want to actually make bets. So, like, if you win, I will actually pay you. And if I win, I should actually get paid. It doesn't well, work the other way. It doesn't work like if I pay and then don't don't get paid and like that's not fair. Well, it's never been that somebody was trying to not pay you. It was that last time it was that I had paid you, but you were checking the wrong PayPal. Mm. Well, I told you which PayPal to pay. Is that true or is that fake news? Well, is I, I wasn't I, I wasn't the one operating the PayPal. Yeah, right. Kitty, I told him Kitty which PayPal, PayPal to gave me, and then Kitty just logged in and paid some other one. So it wasn't really like I fucked up, you know, which is how Kyle just told that story. It, it Yeah, we sit the, we put the we put the money in, in your left pocket instead of your right. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I <laughs> I don't even know how many PayPals I have. I click on last pass and it just goes right? I, I, I this is look. not my problem. <laughs> well, it is when I say pay me here, and then I check it to see if I'm paid. So I think I'm not paid. I, I, I'll put it in your back pocket. You'll, it, You'll put it in the pocket there, I tell you to put it in. That's how you pay people. I know you like <laughs> it in the back pocket. That's where you're going. <laughs> uh, open <laughs> the fly, the slip it in. That's the, the I asked for it in a particular way. No. So, so it was fucking excellent. So you haven't paid, Every bit and Chiz kind of paid. In Chiz did. Well, you owe Chiz three dollars. Yeah, the way it, it seems. That's so unfair. Apparently, Chiz gave me thirteen dollars and thirty-seven cents, a leet payment, uh, back on August thirty-first. I didn't even notice it, and uh, and Chiz, I think Chiz only owed me five. I don't know. I might owe him well, eight. Well, see, he was paying you yeah. on my behalf because you were talking about the bet so much, and and he kind of wanted to move Which along. Which is As my someone right. Who bets very rarely. There's nothing more annoying than like when I'm like, hey, I'll bet you $10 this fucking team wins or something. And then I win the bet and they're like, ah, I've only got a 20 here. You just owe me 10. And it's like, no, 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 no. This isn't now like I owe you money. <laughs> I, I, I said, like, of course, I need the 20 to get my 10. But doesn't that bother you a little bit? Like when they don't have enough to pay you exactly? Like, it's if I bet totally you $50 unfair to watch Kyle Kyle's, flip this like I'm the asshole. Right? Wouldn't you be like, oh, now I'm on the hook for 50 to give back to Taylor? Like. A little bit or no? Doesn't even factor in. Taylor, I'm clearly not the asshole here. I say pay this PayPal and I'm the dick because he pays some other one. I thought I wasn't paid. And then Chiz pays me for no reason and now I'm in debt. And like, I don't know. I, uh, as the mediator, I'm, I'm sensing a little dickery all about. Oh, I literally little... copy and paste the email address into the Skype. $5 here. And then when that's not done, I think I'm unpaid. But really, they've slipped it to some other account. That's you guys need fair. to up the betting total. Like, mm -hmm. instead of mm -hmm. the $5 thing, make it all 50 from here on out. That way it's like, Whoa, there's big more, more pressure to, I don't know. Like, I mean, that's big spending compared to what you, you guys are usually betting. Like I know. Five. <laughs> I'm saying. Woody just makes it not fun when we bet. That's, you make it not fun. See, it's great. <laughs> that's so not fair. Woody makes it not fun when I welch on bets. That's what Nobody you should be saying. Nobody's welching on bets. That's what you, you just, should say. You know, when I welch on you bets, act like I'm Woody a expects payment. Who, that, who you're never going to see again. When clearly, I, my, my my intention is to get you the money, and, and you're just you know you kind of harass us about the bets and make a big deal of it. I would have paid you at the conclusion of the fights. That's what Lozon does. Lozon and I, the, the, the ref's still making the announcement and we're getting paid. There's no welching going on. Well, you should bet with, with Lozon from now on so oh. you get that money immediately and you can invest it and start. I... The villains themselves were ultimately responsible for much of the popularity. Stop relaxing. Yes. Ha! He's Nothing comes between me and my masters. What is it, Father? These footprints were made by the, the flying monkey men. It's simple for you.